Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm super excited. We're taking a look at what is hands down, dollar for dollar, pound for pound, baby, the number, the best Class C on the market today. This is the 2021 Nexus Triumph Model 31T. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel that gives you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again, today I'm super excited to be looking at this Triumph. And again, I'm calling this the best Class C motorhome dollar for dollar because it's, it's a very inexpensive one, but everything you're getting wrapped up in that price point, it's awesome, especially for a starter family just now getting into the RV world. Now, before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hi, everyone. Hey, Andrea, how's it going? It's hot. It's hot, <laughs> y'all. What, what the heck? Guys, we're getting that uh, here in Florida, that, that part of the Sahara dust that's coming over across the Atlantic. I don't see no dust. Well, it just makes it real hazy. The good thing about it is it makes really beautiful sunsets and uh, what is it? Sunrises. <laughs> y yep, yep. And so, yeah, that's cool. All right, so let's begin. Model is 31T, but the actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 31 feet 7 inches. This is the Nexus Triumph. It's their entry level Class C motorhome built on the E450 chassis. Yep, Andre, if you notice that little black part, that means this is the new chassis with the 7.3 liter engine. It's the Ford, it's a 7.3 liter V8, 350 horsepower with 460 foot pounds of torque. It's that Godzilla engine? Godzilla! <laughs> yes, ma'am. But look, look, if you back up for a second, do you notice anything about this? Yes. It's white. Yes. It's plain. Yes. This motorhome is going to be for your real. plain Jane motorhome. Look up here. Not a lot of swirly and stuff going on. Trying to keep the price down, but that's awesome because when everything that you get in is going to be cool. Here's your tires. They're your hand cooked tires, Andrea. Dynapro LT225 75 R16. And here's your mirrors right there. Wow, pretty interesting. No left and right camera blinker. Okay, I was thinking that might have been something. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Guess what I just learned? What? Not all the E450 chassis are the same. This one doesn't have that screen like that Integra. It might be like the new chassis might be like the Class A's where every manufacturer might do their own thing with the chassis. That's going to be pretty interesting Let's, to see. I can't wait to see that. Nice power awning with LED lights. Let's take a look at that when it's all the way out. Oh, look at that. That's so funny. I like that it's gray. It's, this is one of the cheapest motorhomes, but they did the awning right. I know. I love that awning. It cools it down they so They were much. listening to us. Right here, you got your propane tank, Andrea. And we will have propane tank sizes, lengths, widths, every spec about this motorhome down in our description below. Also, we'll have it right here, bing, on television, so for everybody to see. Great. Right here, you got a water heater. Like the placement. No decals over it. I like that. Right there, you got a little bit of storage. And then look at this. You got an electric outlet right there. Yep. And then no more storage down here. Interesting. Kind of weird. Different, different. And then it's this. Oh, oh, wow. Nice. That's really good storage. I did not expect to see Me that. Me either. Coming around the back, you have a nice bumper for your stinky slinky. You do have a 7,500 pound hitch. This motorhome can't tow that. You can tow 5,000 pounds with it. Uh, you do have a backup camera right there. Also, you have a one piece fiberglass roof. Let's go up there and take a look. Hey, hold on, it's really hot. We're going now. All right, up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one piece fiberglass roof. It's a 30 amp motor home, so you have one AC unit. Right there's your wine guard digital antenna. And yeah, no solar prep for the roof. 
Please be careful. It's really hot and I know you're sweaty. Ouch. See? That metal. I know. I can't it's imagine. Ugh. Great. And if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. What are the RV salesmen's going to take his fat ass up on the roof on a 112 degree day? Show you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. I would like to mention. Because this is a Nexus motorhome, what everybody else is using is aluminum uh, aluminum for their framing. Nexus uses steel, high strength, low alloy steel, 72% stronger. Also, Nexus uses Asdale both on the interior walls and exterior walls, so it will never delaminate on you, and you won't get that formaldehyde smell on the inside. Over here, that's weird. That's your power inverter. That's supposed to, that's supposed to be there. That's weird. Over there is your city water connection and all that good stuff. Right there, that's where you dump your black and gray tank. All right. Let's see. Okay. Okay, good. The valves are there. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Right there is your fuel fill up, outdoor shower. Over there, that's your generator. It's a Cummins own and, um, you know what we didn't do? We didn't put the slide outs in. <laughs> um, that's your Cummins only in 4,000 generator. And a little bit more storage. Well, Andrea, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. What are you doing? I was checking the cargo carrying capacity since I was right Well, what here. is it? 2,104 pounds. Nice. The inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Oh, we got to get that air on, Matt. Bam. All right. Go on the inside. Woo. As you can see, the slide is out, but we're gonna bring it in real quick. Yep. Just so you guys can see the walkway. <laughs> Andrea. Yes. <laughs> it's so hot, I forgot to bring the slide out. I know, in. it is really hot. I thought we were missing something. I couldn't figure it yeah, out. Yeah, it's like, oh, do we usually have this many problems when we're trying to open the storage up? Right, I'm like, dang, like, that's hard to get us? to. Look at that, guys. Nice, look this, at that. This is what it's like with the slide in. This is 90%, awesome. this is 99% usable. And look at that. I had plenty of walkway to get to the bathroom and you got a north and south bed. Yep. Now, there is a slide out in the bedroom, it's on the closet. Yeah, but still, but, you can still lay in the bed. But, uh, Andrea, come here real quick. I like that. I have a favor to ask everybody. If you could, please, leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like about this motorhome and three things you don't like about it. The more people who comment and smash that thumbs up button, the more people YouTube likes to promote our videos to. And look. And Andrea. Yes. <laughs> Andrea, you're the hardest working girl in show business. Yes. If you don't share this video because of how hot Andrea is. Um, yeah, please turn on the air. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, look. This Whoa. Look at that. Oh, look, look, wow. Look. Oh. Oh, it does have the screen. Oh. Oh, that's so cool, guys. Oh, man, that AC feels good. Listen to that engine, Matt. Hell yeah! Woohoo! That's the Godzilla engine. No, no. So look, when we're in reverse, yep, you can see that nice camera. Turn but that's the just, blinker on. Yeah, there, there, there's, no there's no blinker, blinker camera. Cameras, okay. Nope. But you but, know what? I'm glad it has the screen. Yeah, very nice screen. Look, this driver was getting 8.3 miles per gallon. Really nice. You know, Andre, you sit in my co-captain seat. I think I want to stand right here. I know. <laughs> oh, nice. feeling good. Oh, this is nice. You want to just do the rest of the review but, from yeah. there? <laughs> but look, oh, you know what? This is great. I mean, the space yeah. down here is pretty is nice. Good. Pretty nice. I mean, the seat's good, you know. Yep, the seats don't swivel, but that's okay. That's okay. I'm fine with that. Holders, but you know, I'm not crowded. Yep. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Got a light there goes both ways I guess. Uh-huh. All right let's check out this bunk over the cab. Over here we do have the bunk over the cab. I believe it holds 500 pounds. 500 pounds. 500 LBS. And you do have a fan up there. Yep. 
and or then opening for a fan, sorry. And now, the TV does come out and swivel. No, look at that. That's a nice swivel bracket, though. Yeah, you know? it is. And it comes all the way out, yeah. Yeah. Very nice, very nice. I like that because when you do it like this, you know, then it's really, really close to being directly across from this sofa. Oh my gosh, Andrea. You have a privacy curtain on there. Sorry, guys, on the cab. Yeah. This is their cheap motorhome. Um, they switched the couch out because remember the Triumphs had the, that weird couch yeah, without the art that I didn't like. Yep, this this a jackknife. Andre, sit in that couch. Let's see. That's let's actually see. a comfy couch. Oh, it is. Yeah, it's You're pretty right. nice. And then even look at this. And it's got seat belts. Yep. It's very comfortable. They even have hidden hinge cabinetry, wow. which is crazy. And then look at this. They even have the slow rise privacy shades, not the daytime shades. But that's crazy. And the, and the balances are a lot better in here. For them trying to accomplish a must be cheaper price point, you know, I think they did a pretty good job. Yes, definitely. Over here, the dinette does drop down to make a bed. I kind of like what I'm seeing. I'm, I'm liking the color schemes in here. I don't like that. What's that? The two-tone. Yeah, it is what it is. But look at this fancy light. I love it, Andrea. It's okay. Is this light? Art Deco? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? It's 112 degrees. It's sure. whatever the heck you want it to be. You got nice cabinetry. Nice cabinetry above. Got three of them there, yep. guys. And you have cup holders in the uh, got dinette. Got a mirror. Well, Andrea, it's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 pee. Andrea's like, this MSRP better be good. <laughs> MSRP on this motorhome here is $112,367 MSRP. We have a discounted 29% off okay. to $79,499. That is a phenomenal price for a 31 foot class C. Especially because Nexus builds them so great. Yep, and it's 2021. But Andrea, don't worry, I can get you an even better price than that. Andrea, tell everybody how to do it. You can call, you can text, you can email, you can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962 or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or check out the website mattsrvreviews.com where you can get your official Matt's RV Review sticker. Bing. Also, there's a contact me page on the website. Andrea, let's continue the video. Wow, look at this counter space. That counter space is This is crazy. Enormous. enormous. It is. Okay, so up here we have cabinets. Uh-huh. Shelf, uh -huh. very nice. Uh I don't know how I feel about the backsplash yet. You know, they they did that backsplash last year. Uh we and we got, commented on it. At least they did it the full wall. We got three drawers. I like the little handles or the knobs, very cute. Look, look, look at the vent, not in the flooring. I like that. Uh, we got a cabinet here, uh -huh. a shelf. That's great. Another cabinet above the sink with adjustable shelving. Yep, yep. It's the um, lily, uh, remember? Lily pad. Lily pad. We call it a lily pad. pad. <laughs> it's the lily pad of power. Got the window with the mini blinds. Double sink. Oh, good. It has an extension. Awesome. Very nice. Very, very nice. nice. Little sink, though. Little, little sink. sink. Another I mean they got a lot of storage in this kitchen. Yeah, no, this is wow. a this is awesome motorhome. Okay, All right. so this looks cute. Um I wonder, Matt, is that uh, just a microwave? Warm, warm. They don't wow. listen. Wow. Dang nabbit. Three burner cooktop with glass cover. Very nice. And this that's a Dometic. And we got another little cabinet under here. Mm -hmm. Got a compressor fridge. Or is that no, a residential. Residential, oh, yeah, residential that is fridge. A residential fridge. Yep. So that runs off your inverter, guys. Yep, absolutely. Very nice. Very nice. And how do you like this mirror here? Uh, it, it's nice. <laughs> hey, it's a mirror. What, what do you want? Yeah. All right. So over here in the bedroom, or uh, you got this uh, middle bathroom here. You know, you got a shower. It's okay. It's a uh, 24 by 36. And you know, I, I, I do like this, the curvature in it, and it just kind of is what it is. It's not the best shower in the world, definitely not the worst shower. It's been a while since we've seen this kind of layout. Yeah, it has been a while. Yes. Okay, so it has oh. Matt, his, like a magnet up there to keep the door oh, closed, and you got an accordion door right here. Oh, wow. Uh-oh. 
We gotta get a squatty potty. Cause my feet can't reach. It's on the pet. They always do that. Medicine cabinet. Yep. What's crazy is this is a prime pooping position. I got plenty of shoulder space. My waist, my legs, my knees. I'm just dangling. I don't like to dangle while I take a poop. Yeah, exactly. There's a fan up there, guys. Which and is crazy. Got a lot of counter space there and a cabinet underneath. Yep. Matt, can you open that? Thank you. Thank you very much. Yep. All right. So you got this accordion door here for privacy. Yep. Close that. Okay. A little bit tight walking around here, but I do like the north um, south bed. Um, question. Sorry, go ahead. You got storage there. Well, what was your question? Uh, I was just wondering, is the bed slide over more? Oh, yeah. Because the headboard. What are you talking about? The headboard doesn't look even. Yeah. Um. Or is that it? I guess. No, that's funny, Andrea. Well, a women would notice things like o that. Old Jebediah Yoder up there in Indiana. I need to come up there and teach you guys. What we got under here? Let's see. Oh, you do have storage. It's a heavy ass mattress. Oh, no, I think your tanks are under there. Yep, yep. Tank okay. Habit. So open that wardrobe one more I time. I will say this. This is a great quality mattress because it's freaking 100 pounds. All right, so it, you got the wardrobe here, guys. Yep. Shell. You have a nice hand over there with the door, which is really nice. Oh, I can already see a problem. What? That's so stupid. Over here I'll is where you. you would have a TV. Yep. Mounted. And in this, we have the other wardrobe. And Matt missed this one big drawer down here. Let me get it. Yep. Very nice. And then you do got wardrobe above. Wardrobe above. And then over here, you have more cabinetry to hang stuff. Yep. And then two drawers. Very nice. And then why is there a vacuum thing in here? No idea. There is. Old Jebediah Yoder. Okay, so this you got the blinds in built here. On a Friday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the window's cute. Okay. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what should we do first? Let's do three things we like about this motorhome. Perfect. Okay, first. I'm gonna go first, and then you. No, you go first. I'm gonna go first. Go ahead. <laughs> Ladies first. I'm gonna say I like the counter space in here. Yeah, the, the functionality. I, I really like that, the feng shui. The feng shui of this motorhome. I, I love yep. it. I love having all this counter space. Yep. For real. No, 100%. Yeah. Uh, that's one. Number two, I do love this slide out. What I mean is when it's in, oh, yeah. I love the walkability, the usability. I love how that TV, how big it is on that type of bracket. So it pretty much is looking straight across and it's really nice and then three something i forgot to mention um metal duct work throughout this motorhome i love the construction of this motorhome yes they use high strength low alloy steel as they on the interior and exterior as you can tell it's 112 degrees today but we're not getting that fuming smell in here you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. and the metal duct work you know it, it's really really nice design and these are really really safe yes well 70 72% stronger means 72% safer. Right. Well, that's three things we like about it. Now it's time for three things we don't like about this motorhome. Bum, bum, bum. You want to go first again? Sure. All right. <laughs> All right. I don't want to be picky. I'm not going to. It's not picky. It's I'm three not things. I'm picky, I swear. Okay. I, I, I don't know. I know this cannot be. I don't get it. Yeah. I the, don't understand why the headboard is not matched up with the mattress. Yep. It's crazy. It's um it, it's very crazy, Matt. And you know what they did? It's like it's like it was well if you can see here, it's like they put the headboard in the middle of the wall, but not counting. Like they should have just put it all the way over. Yeah, it it, it it doesn't matter. It should be lined with the bed. So that's one, two. This drawer right here, if you can see this, right? You see how that's broken there? Yes. That leaves you because of the slide out. It's a very small margin for error right there. I guarantee you half the people who own this motorhome will break that. Um, because if it's just out a little bit, right? right just a tiny bit, or you hit the brakes too hard and it kicks out, you're, yeah. you know, 
It's just they honestly there shouldn't be a knob on that. It they should put the grooves in the top part and um leave it like that. Watch your step. All right, and then three, it's gonna be outside. You are just popular today. Yep. That's what happens when you put your phone number on the internet. <laughs> Number three, I, I just don't like this going on. I don't like that being there. I don't like the lack of like outdoor storage compartments. And not only that, and this isn't a big deal, this sewer thing just needs to be dropped down a half an inch so you can actually get the sewer hose on it. But again, it's not like the other one when it was a big issue. That one we can work with, but I don't like the external hookups and everything. Well, Andrea, that's it. Oh, over here, please. That's it, that's the review. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you have any questions about this RV, please call me, text me, send me an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962 is my cell number. Or check us out on our website, mattsrvreviews.com where you can get your official Matt's RV Review sticker, bing. Also, there's a contact me page. And again, motorhome dollar for dollar, especially if you're just now venturing into the RV world for the first time one of the best. Um, Andre, do you have anything you want to say? Yes. And in the shade here. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this motorhome and the three things that you dislike. You're we good. know Nexus does read the comments. So let's, let's hope we change RV history. Also, I hope everybody is doing well and you guys are staying safe. Thanks for watching. Thanks so much for watching. Andrea, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.